2020 was a tough year for everyone, but for some celebrities, it was hard for reasons outside of this worldwide pandemic. Some celebrities landed themselves in controversial scandals this year that were so bad they might lose everything in 2021. We're talking about these celebrities right now on Beyond the Screen, and I'm your host for this one. I'm Joss Bedard. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already, but let's get into it. Starting off our list at number 10 is Lil Wayne. He could quite literally lose everything this year if he gets locked behind bars after his upcoming trial. His case is a little more severe than just some celebrity scandal. He's facing charges that could have him behind bars for up to 10 years. If you missed what happened with the rapper, his charges came one year after he was found at the Miami airport with a handgun and drugs in his possession. He was charged with possessing a firearm as a formerly convicted felon Yes, this was not his first time getting caught with a firearm. He had a prior felony gun possession record from New York and was only charged for the new firearm despite being caught with marijuana, cocaine, and other drugs. He ended up pleading guilty in hopes that he would get a lighter sentence. He is currently facing up to 10 years in prison, but after pleading guilty, he may get much less than that, if any time at all. Sentencing guidelines range from one to two years with his acceptance of responsibility for the gun charge, but with his criminal history, he may still get jail time. His sentencing hearing is January 28th, so we're gonna have to wait and see. However, rumor has it that before Donald Trump left the White House, he did grant pardon for Lil Wayne, so this might be totally irrelevant. We're gonna have to wait and see. In spot number nine is Perez Hilton. He has already lost a lot before 2021 even started. By the end of 2020, he had lost his entire following on the TikTok app because he was permanently banned. His account was permanently banned out of nowhere after he repeatedly violated the app's rules. However, he appealed these claims and said his content did not break any policies. Following his account being banned, he posted a YouTube video where he said he was completely devastated by this decision. In the video, he starts crying and explaining that TikTok was such a big escape for him and that he relied on the fact the app would be a huge part of his future and career and income. A TikTok spokeswoman confirmed he was banned for violating their policies repeatedly. Prez admitted in his video that some of his content has been flagged before for violating TikTok rules against nudity and harassment, and also said that he's been accused of bullying. A lot of his content is dishing out celebrity news and scandals, but his approach just comes across very harmful sometimes, especially when it involves teens on the TikTok app. He has apologized, however, I don't think it's gonna be enough in 2021. I don't think he will get his TikTok back. Sliding into number eight is Amber Heard. It will all depend on if the odds are in her favor on the big decision of her infamous lawsuit against ex-husband Johnny Depp or if the judges are in her favor, I should say. The two of them are in war against each other right now in the court of law and the media. But it seems like Amber has the upper hand in this court case as of right now. Johnny ended up losing his libel case and he had to step away from one of his films. However, despite the libel case loss, people are still trying to get Amber out of Hollywood. From an outsider standpoint, everyone will have a different opinion on whose side of the story they believe to be true and who is in the right or wrong. Some fans don't believe Amber's claims of abuse since audio recordings were leaked where she actually admitted to punching Johnny and how she would manipulate people to believe her side of the story. Fans were so passionate about having her lose everything, they actually started a petition to have her removed from the Aquaman 2 movie, and there are over 1.7 million signatures at the time of this recording. Nothing is confirmed yet, but there is a possibility she could be removed from this movie and lose that lawsuit. With all that being said, coming in at number seven is Johnny Depp. There are two people in this lawsuit, and obviously the outcome of the lawsuit will determine the future of both people involved. Johnny lost his libel case against the British tabloid, The Sun, where they referred to him as a wife beater. Because of this, he actually gave up his role in J.K. Rowling's movie, Fantastic Beasts, as he was asked to walk away for the sake of the project. He has managed to keep some of his deals, like his $5 million deal with Christian Dior Men's Fragrance, although they are not airing ads in conservative markets as of right now. 
Some inside sources are claiming that after the verdict of this trial, his career could be totally over and he could never work in Hollywood ever again. However, others are saying that depending on the verdict, he could continue with his career and be successful at it. Things just aren't looking good for him as of right now, but we will get more answers in May 2021 at their trial. Making her way in at number six is Trisha Paytas. If we're being honest, people have said she would lose her career every year for like the past five years or more. And she's the first one to openly admit that she is getting canceled by people all the time, but somehow doesn't actually get canceled. But this year specifically was filled with tons of controversy for her career and TikTok has a lot to do with it. The biggest scandal involves 16 year old TikTok star, Charlie D'Amelio, who has over a billion followers on the app, which is insane. Trisha posted a video on her TikTok reacting to one of Charlie's YouTube videos of her and her family and criticized her, calling her and her sister ungrateful and disrespectful. And also other names that you should not call a 16 year old. Charlie responded during an Instagram live video where she cried and from there the feud just blew up and lasted for days. A lot of people attack Trisha online because she's 32 years old and was starting a feud with a 16 year old girl online. This wasn't her first time calling out young TikTok stars though, and it probably was not her last. Since then, she has also called out Charlie's sister, Dixie D'Amelio, Emma Nortz, and a Brooklyn XO. All of them are teenagers, and fans seem to be getting a little fed up with her just causing drama with people who are so much younger than she is. I mean, we saw what happened to Perez Hilton's account. Hers could be next. Halfway through our list at number five is Sean Kingston. His career is quite literally on the line right now after a warrant was issued for his arrest. It's been many years since he was taken over the pop music scene in Hollywood, yet somehow he has still held a name for himself. There's no denying his old songs were absolutely a bop and probably will be for many years. But despite the fact that he has had a more quiet life, his business is being shared all over the internet right now after he got in trouble with the law. Police told TMZ there is a warrant out for his arrest and he's facing grand theft charges due to unpaid jewelry bills. Apparently he has had issues with paying off his jewelry in the past and has actually been sued a few times because of it. Police do not plan to actively search for him as I'm sure they have many other better things to do with their time, but the warrant has officially been filed. His bail was set to $45,000 and he could be sentenced up to three years in prison if convicted. But despite these legal issues, he honestly just seems so unbothered. He continues to show off his luxury items on his Instagram stories. So they might end up just going after him. Taking over the number four spot is Jake Paul. The YouTuber star is constantly in the media and usually it's because of a new scandal or a public feud he had on social media. But despite his controversial career, he is successful at everything he does, like literally everything. And we might not be able to refer to him as a YouTube star for much longer because he recently announced a huge change in his career. He posted an Instagram photo along with a YouTube video where he revealed he was going to be moving to Miami to focus on his career as a pro fighter. He explained that he was selling his top 10 mansion in California and would be moving out of the LA lifestyle. Big change for him. He said, I'm stepping into a new chapter of my life where I am a legitimate pro fighter. And being in Los Angeles, there are so many distractions, it doesn't really allow me to focus on my training. The news was a shock to many people and caused a bit of debate. Some people think it's a smart decision, while others think it could affect his career greatly. YouTube and his whole LA wild lifestyle has always been the reason for his fame. If the fighting career doesn't work out, will he still have a career? The move could be a huge mistake or it could be the best decision he's ever made for himself. We're just gonna have to wait and see how 2021 plays out. Taking over our number three spot is Belle Delphine. The cosplay YouTuber landed herself in a handful of controversies in 2020 and people are waiting to see how far she will go in 2021. The main controversy surrounding her career is the explicit content she creates. She is famous for her YouTube channel, which was once known for gaming, but is now known for sexual videos that she creates, which some people say should not be allowed on the platform. Her channel was terminated for a few days and all her videos were gone. However, she did end up getting her channel reinstated, which might be why she's focusing on adding more of her explicit content to her OnlyFans account, which is probably what she should have done in the first place. <laughs> 
She revealed that she would be filming her first adult video and would be selling the used form of protection, I'll say, from the video if you catch my drift. Despite receiving a ton of backlash for her decisions and content, she admitted to making over $1 million a month on her OnlyFans alone. So her content sells. But with YouTube being strict about her content now after striking her channel with a community guidelines warning, she could lose her channel in 2021. It is possible. I personally think her YouTube career could be affected like for sure because they're strict, but I think OnlyFans is just the beginning for her. She's set, she's making bank on there. Rolling into number two, we have Kanye West. 2020 was a difficult year for his career, but his Hollywood scandals are more serious than the other ones on our list. This is because it has been reported that his behavior is a reflection of his struggles with mental health issues. Reports say he has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and countless media outlets have reported he's been suffering this year with getting his mental health in a good place. A lot of his behavior throughout the year has surprised fans. His Twitter rants don't come as a surprise, but they seem to go a little too far. He publicly shamed his own wife, Kim Kardashian, and her family, calling them white supremacists. Or ex-wife, I should say. And he posted a video of himself urinating on one of his Grammy Awards. Those are just some examples of his erratic behavior this year, but they have done some damage to his personal life and his career. Reports recently revealed that Kim and Kanye are officially divorced, so obviously that is gonna have an effect on him too. It's hard to say if he will be able to come back after some of the things that he has said and done, like career-wise, but the most important thing is that he gets the help that he needs. And our number one spot is Shia LaBeouf. There have been multiple moments throughout his career when fans thought it would be the end to everything that he had. His struggle with alcohol and drugs has landed him in trouble with the law on multiple occasions and his angry outbursts have cost him jobs. But in 2021, he really could lose everything, like literally everything, now that he is facing charges of sexual battery. Recently, his ex-girlfriend, FKA Twigs, sued him and accused him of sexual battery, assault, and infliction of emotional distress. In the lawsuit, it says, Shia LaBeouf hurts women. He uses them, he abuses them, both physically and mentally. He is dangerous. The lawsuit was filled with disturbing details of the abuse that she faced while dating him for a few years, even claiming that he killed innocent stray dogs and then called it method acting. Shia has responded to these claims and admitted that he was abusive towards himself and others in the past due to his addiction, but said that it was not an excuse for his behavior. However, he still denies some of the claims in her lawsuit and says that not everything she put in there was true. His lawyer has revealed that he is seeking long-term inpatient treatment as of right now and says that Shia knows and admits that he needs professional help. All right, guys, that is my list for today. I'm gonna end this video with some comments from celebrities who are problematic, part five. Teresa McFarland says, I would like to see more of you on this channel, Joss. I know, I know. We just have more house helping us because we're so busy, but I am here. The Tron Warrior says, Jocelyn is a queen. She looks like Kate Hudson with dark hair. I am thrilled by that because I freaking love Kate Hudson. I don't see it, but I'm honored. Linda Magagula says, Shia LaBeouf, I don't understand his personality. Sometimes his behavior is weird. He gets into trouble. Yeah, I didn't know that he struggled so much with mental health and drugs and things like that until a few years ago. So now it makes sense. But in the beginning, it was very strange, yes. Winter Wren says, the Floyd Mayweather thing is a win-win for Logan. He wins, he's great. He loses, he still got knocked out by the great. Facts. If I was gonna get punched out and knocked out in front of the entire world, I would want it to be someone like Floyd Mayweather, right? Cause you can still say you fought him, no matter what. All right guys, that is all I got. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you leave a like, cause it really helps us out. I was your host Joss, I will see you next time.